Just over a year after being charged with multiple sexual misconduct counts with a minor, a former Oldham County teacher is now challenging state law. Good evening and thanks for joining us on 11 at 11. I'm Paulina Butska. The defense arguing that the law is unconstitutional. Jesse Cohen is here now to explain why this is their stance. Jesse. Well, Paulina, 38 year old Haley Reed faces multiple counts of rape, sodomy and unlawful exchange with a minor. All that comes with sentences that could put her behind bars for years. But just 10 days ago, her attorney filed a motion to get all charges dropped. What we want is conformity, uniformity of the law. Because Haley Reed's defense attorney, Greg Sims, says the state law is unconstitutional. I don't want there to be a hole. Uh, a gray area in the law. But Sims is claiming there is. The 38 year old was sexually involved with a student about eight times from April 1st to June 1st of 2018. And at the time, the law stated five reasons when someone is deemed incapable of providing consent. And Sims tells us, according to those reasons alone, the student Reed was with was able to provide his consent. But confusion is found in another statute, which says you are guilty of rape in the third degree if you're a person in a position of authority or special trust who has sex with someone under 18. And being with a person in a position of trust or authority is not on that list. That does not mean you can't consent. There's the big hole. He says because of the nature of their ages and how the relationship pans out, it exposes holes in the law. Another teacher at a different school. Um, and all of that would be 100% legal contact. In addition, for their actual teachers when they turn 18. So a few months later, that would be perfectly legal contact. Or if they married a teacher, uh, even younger than 17, which can happen in Kentucky. The line gets even more thin because just about a month after Reed and the student were involved, the laws relating to capacity to consent and rape third in Kentucky changed. And what was added was a provision that says, well, if someone is over the age of 16, but not yet 18, then uh, there's a 10 year rule. A cutoff that Sim says is most likely not constitutional. We've drawn an arbitrary line there and laws are not supposed to be based on arbitrary decisions. They have to be based on science and reason. That's the problem. So Sim says they are fighting for her rights, fighting to prevent putting her behind bars for life. You can kill someone in Kentucky and get substantially less time than what we're talking about. So the future for Haley Reed is unclear. If the judge rules in favor of their motion, all of her charges could get dropped. If he doesn't, she currently faces more than 100 years behind bars, which Sim says would most likely get dropped down to 20, which is still a significant amount of time. I'm Jesse Cohen, 11 at 11.